folks, it's uh, Saturday 9th of March. I'm on the Daily Record, the link will be in the description. <clears throat> this is a story by Nicholas uh, Caden. Um, and it surrounds uh, a burglary at um, the former Celtic manager Brendan Rogers' home. Brendan Rogers' burglary clue as masked raider post snap outside former Celtic boss's home. A picture of the balaclava wearing man appeared on social media and officers hope it can lead them to the burglars. I'd imagine they've got a really good clue now. So they'll have a, a social media address unless it's um, completely anonymous. But even then, um, there's a good chance they, get, they can catch them with that. That's, that's one of the stu most stupid things I've ever heard. But they deserve it, given what they did. So what actually happened was this guy. So what we know is he's white. All right. At least one of them's white, and there he's took a picture of, or somebody's took a picture of him looking into um, that guy's that guy's house, and that's a picture of the man and his his wife when when they got married. Now apparently these uh, guys broke into his house while his wife and his his Wayne were there. Um, they actually came into the the uh, his wife's bedroom. And their daughter was sleeping in bed when they shone a torch on them. And they, they, they were so frightened they scurried into the bathroom to hide. I think mean, that's outrageous, isn't it? That's absolutely outrageous. Imagine that happening to you in your own house. Um, that's really bad news. Police Scotland said, We have been made aware of an image in relation to the ongoing investigation. Inquiries will be carried out. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. And so this all happened while the guy, the guy who's had a hard time since leaving Celtic, I mean, I'm really quite surprised um, by the vitriol that's headed his way. I mean, I, I thought he did well for Celtic and he's he's entitled to move if he wants to move. And uh, Maybe there was some bad feeling within the, uh, internally in the club, maybe directors don't. Um, but I know that um, he contacted uh, Willie Hockey um, just after it, and I think he sent some people around. And you wouldn't want to mess with people Willie Hockey sends around, let me put it that way. But the degenerates that done this are well out of order. Um, especially since they terrified that, that woman there, we are a wee girl. The guy's entitled to move if he wants to move, you know. Football fans, I think mean, he's a break. Life's there's more to life than football, you know. I know your team's important and all that, but somebody breaks into your house and terrifies your wife and your ki your kid, that just is a different level. So people need to understand that, and people should be acknowledging that. Doesn't matter whether you don't like the guy. Know that he's left Celtic. You know he was great. Before he left Celtic, but I mean, come on, get get real. Um, think about your own parents or your your brother, your sister, or whatever in that situation or your way. So, anyway, just a wee quick one about this, just to let people see that eye there. This guy, with his balaclava on, he thinks he's in the right police. Yeah. Well, you better hope you've not left any forensics there, son. You're going to be right under pressure. They'll also get an idea of your height now, based on that picture. Your build and your height and your weight. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, remember now, if you like the content, give us a wee like and, uh, and think about subscribing. That is what it is. Peace out.